This is Duke University. Two areas of the cerebral cortex are the sensory and motor cortex. An animated video on the brain's response to nicotine, cocaine, and marijuana is the product of seven years of work by Duke Pharmacology professor Rochelle Swartz-Bloom. Populated with colorful stand-ins for real molecules, her digital imagery conveys striking scenes of chemical warfare altering the nervous system of a transparent blue-hued man. Her video has been seen broadly on television, in classrooms, even in police departments. It also helped launch a parallel career for the longtime research scientist, who's now director of the Duke Center for Science Education. Maybe not all scientists think in visual terms. I am definitely a visual learner. I've always been a visual learner, and I, I think part of why I went down this road is because I thought, gee, this is a great way to learn, and there must be other people out there that like learning this way. We actually have a lot of science built into some of the animation, and probably a lot of people wouldn't pick that up. For example, the acetylcholine molecule um, actually kind of looks like the real thing that you might see in a textbook. This particular sequence where you can see the cyclic A and P molecules being formed, you can see the connection between the binding to the receptor and the movement of this helper protein and the eventual generation of this very important signaling molecule, the cyclic AMP. I don't think you get that feel when you just read it in a book or you see the pictures drawn with little arrows. We have had so much great feedback from the teachers about the video. They absolutely love it. Their kids love it. And I can tell you even when I was developing the video, I used to get comments like, wow, how come they never taught us anything like this? I wish I had this when I was in, in biology. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.